friends to Theron to back again. I'm Logan Greathouse. Thanks so much for visiting with me today. Uh, today is going to be a quick video, uh, and it's for uh, the, uh, the person that might uh, be new to pipe smoking. Uh, maybe you haven't been smoking uh, a pipe for a while, and you're having some trouble getting an even burn on your tobacco. Uh, maybe you're interested in getting started but you it looks like a lot of work or something like that maybe you don't know how to get started so we're going to start with the basics today we're going to be talking about how to load a pipe uh, so that you get an even that you get an even burn and there are lots of ways uh, that you can find uh, on the internet for how to load the pipe this is the the method that works best for me um, and where I get the, the best results um, and it's kind of a, a three-part method. Uh, today, I'm gonna load up this pipe. It doesn't even have a name. It's a made in France Algerian briar. It's a pot. You can see the edge is a little crusty there. Um, this is one of my favorite ones to smoke. I think I picked it up at a, a, state, a state pipe. Real cheap, but it smokes great. Um, some of the best pipes I've got are those that uh, don't have a name on it. Um, so anyway, today I'm smoking a, uh, a mixture that I blended myself, uh, and I'll talk about homemade mixtures in another video. But let's talk about how to load the pipe. Like I said, it's it's uh, it's like three steps, but it's you, you kind of get used to the 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 rhythm of it. But the idea behind this is there's you load it once, like if you have a wide mouth jar, you can dip right in, or a can sometimes you can dip right in. Uh, you can also just pick it out and pinch it in and drop it in, however you want to do that. But the steps don't change. What I do is I dip it in and I get, kind of. you can see it's kind of rough in there. And what I do is very gently, I just push it down Sometimes I'll, I'll tap it so it gets down to the bottom of the bowl. And just real gently, I mean real gently, push it down, okay? The next one, I go in and do it again. Get it back, kind of that, that edge I got some hanging out of the bowl like that. And I'll go in, you see, and then very gently again, Press it down to where you get just below the bowl, maybe using a little bit more uh, pressure than that first one. And then finally, I dip in, or sometimes I'll, I'll just get a little pinch and then top it off. And this time, I use a little bit more pressure till I'm just shy of the top of the bowl. And I'm using, I'm still, it, I don't use that much pressure, okay? I, I, you wanna make sure that you can draw air through the pipe. You never wanna, I see guys getting started and they use their thumb and they press real hard. You're gonna frustrate yourself if you do that, okay? You wanna make sure that you can get good air draw. I've heard some people say they like it to be like the consistency of a milkshake or something like that as you draw through. So just test it as you go and see what, what feels best. The idea behind this method, the three, the three parts, is that you drop some in, make sure it gets to the bottom of the bowl, gently press it down. Second one, a little bit more pressure, and finally the last one, just a touch more pressure than that, um, and that creates a, the, an even density from the top to the bottom, so that it burns, so that you don't get, so that it's not uh, super compressed in the bottom, loose at the top and you're gonna you're gonna have draw uh, problems with your draw you're gonna have problems with moisture building up in the bottom if you do that and you're gonna relight a lot more than usual so um, that's how I do it that's how I get the best results and uh, I would uh, I would uh, challenge you to give that a try if it doesn't work at first if you if you're finding that you can't draw empty it back into your container and start again there's nothing that says you can't do that so uh, that's how I do it, and I hope uh, I hope this helped you a little bit. And uh, the the most important thing that you can do is just practice, practice loading, 
and getting a good draw through the pipe. Uh, the next video we'll talk about lighting a pipe and the results that I, the best results that I can get uh, when I light the pipe. So anyway, hope this has been uh, helpful to you. Uh, if you, if it was, uh, hit like, hit subscribe, tell your friends, and I thank you so much for visiting with me today.